guys, it's Mel, the Australian sculptor and artist from Two Feathers Gallery, again bringing you a gorgeous baby dragon tutorial today. And it's a time lapse, so we're doing it really, really quick. There are other tutorials. You can purchase these baby dragons in my Etsy shop. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as you can see, there's a range of baby dragons you can learn how to make. Let's get started. So I'm going to be showing you just a part of this uh, tutorial today so you can get a little bit of a taste of what it's like to make a little baby dragon and what's involved. So we're making the tail and the body as you can see here. And I like to use a Primo Sculpey polymer clay. All of the details and everything will be in the full length tutorial, complete tutorial of the red baby dragon that you saw just before. This was my first baby dragon, so I, you know, kind of changed a lot of things along the way and I was just kind of experimenting and learning as I went. So he's got some arms and legs and we're starting on the head. You can see that I based it off um, a dragon head that I'd made previously for a dragon egg stand on the right hand side. And now we're making the head and I've got some cat's eye beads. So all I do is just pop them in and cover them up with some eyelids. I've also got some resin wings there. Um, you'll learn how to make some polymer clay dragon wings in the complete tutorial. And the head's on. So just blending that in and I just decided to kind of give it a bit more of a chunkier face so I just added a few bits on there and, and that's a great thing to do is that you can just be really flexible with what you want to do with your baby dragon and add whatever bits and pieces that you'd like. So once you have the basis for it all down you can just go nuts. And I've got some ears here that I'm just about to pop on. I did actually make them a bit smaller a little later on. And I'm just showing the, you the main body here. And you can learn how to make the uh, scales down the back and the tail feature and the neck and the other two dra baby dragon tutorials that are coming up. And of course the wings as I mentioned earlier. So they're really, really fun to make. And as I was just learning with this, the actual complete tutorial with the red baby dragon is definitely the one to go to if you want all of the measurements and everything's all refined by, by that stage. So all of my teaching methods and everything are on point and it's really quick, clear and easy to follow. So you can get an exact copy if you want. And I also give you suggestions for different tools and things that you can use if you don't have any fancy pants tools like, like I'm using here. You can just use your hands and things from around the home. And I always include that in all of my tutorials. Other different options that you can just get from around the house. I like to do that as much as possible. So it's as accessible to everybody as it should be. That's a citrine crystal that I've just popped into his little dragon hands. And we're going to make some horns. And the links for materials will be in the complete tutorial description box. This is just a taster just to give you a little look at how it's done. Very, very brief. Making a really cool twisted horn there, which is super fun to do. So I hope that you enjoyed this little mini tutorial. <laughs> 